Do you consider yourself a journalist? No. Okay. Um, what? Do you? Under the... Sir, I do not appreciate the sarcasm. Question of the day, where were you when you realized that journalism wasn't what you thought it was? It was, it was probably me with Dan Rather forging documents. Mm -hmm, that was yeah. one. And now we're talking about fake news. Walt, when Walter Cronkite said, I, I believe the quote was, you can't be a reporter and not be somewhat of a liberal. I remember that hit me like a just a blast of cold water um, because we're about to show you an unedited interview with the writer uh, of an article at the Austin Chronicle. I think Sven Computer has this uh, as an overlay. It was an article written about the recent Crowder confronts yep. about the video. Never featured the video, just just no. riddled with Went inaccuracies. Way not to feature. The yes. Video. So uh, we tried to reach this girl, and we weren't able to reach the, the 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 author. And then she called us back. So that's what you're about to hear. Hey, here's the thing. It's not about the Austin Chronicle, right? I, I mean, I get it. Not many people read it. What it's about is is the media at large. This has been going on. I've encountered this with Daily Beast, with Washington Post, with Sky News. You were there when we did this with with, with Sky News. Yep. It, it's about the media getting away with this scot free for so long, yep. and we just can't. It's kind of like the Crowder confronts. We just can't allow it to continue. So hope you enjoy the phone call, Stephen Crowder. Hi, this is Jesse Kate. Hey, Jesse, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm I'm glad we were able to connect finally. Absolutely. Thanks for reaching out. Sure. Well, I know the first thing is I know you were looking for uh, someone to to uh, comment from from my side here on the story. Uh, I, I had some questions for you. Curious as to you, you know you wrote an article about a video exclusively, kind of a play by play, mm -hmm. but never included the video. Was that? Sure. Well, you know, uh, it's pretty easy to find. I did include the title and mention the platform, YouTube, that it's on. So anyone who can use the Internet can find that. But I do have some questions for but, you, actually. Um, sure, but why, why wouldn't you embed it like, then at that point? I don't, I don't understand because I, some of the inaccuracies I'd like to go over are, are clearly uh, stated in the video or at least featured in the video. So is, is there a reason you didn't embed it? Well, I, I just specifically said that we chose not to do that but i did include the title and the platform that it's on so why um that's my answer so if you would like to tell me about the inaccuracies that you uh found i'm sure. happy to hear you out and i'd i'd love to hear those absolutely well first off i'm glad we're finally speaking because the first inaccuracy i mean you, you didn't reach out to me at all directly for a for a comment or for my side of the story which surprised me considering this is reporting well, I, I did reach out to CRTV, and I put that in there. I have the email thread, and I'm happy to provide you with that. Sure. Well, I know you reached out to a generic page on CRTV that, you know, I don't, I don't work for them. We have a partnership agreement, and uh, you were advocated to go to my social media pages, the, all my producers, their emails are there. We have a very quick, uh, simple contact me page, and I, I know you wrote that you were not about to, quote, fall into that trap. What, so what trap is that? Well, I'm not going to use my personal uh, social media platform to reach out on this on this uh, story. So I'm calling you now from my cell phone number. So that's that's as personal as I'm willing to get on this. As a journalist, I would just like to streamline this conversation and get the in inaccuracies that you mentioned. Sure. Well, that, that's an inaccuracy. Your voicemail said. Oh, okay. Well. I'm happy to hear you out now. Sure. Well, that's right there. That's that's one inaccuracy that uh, the implication that you had reached out to me uh, because we never received word. And I, of course, would have loved to give our side, especially if we'd, we'd have known that you weren't going to feature the, the video that was in question. You know, a couple of things before we get to the other inaccuracies, which are, which are more obvious. Oh. You, know, you mentioned our fans doxed this person. They received death threats. Uh, any evidence of that? Well, it's all over the comment threads. Um, I, I was able to find those people, uh, the, the person at Juiceland and the person's uh, manager, all of their personal information is on multiple platforms at this point. Sure. So I guess we need to define first, as, as you mentioned, journalistic integrity. I know that's important. What, what, do you, what do you mean when you say doxing? I want to make sure I'm not misconstruing this. Well, the release of someone's public informa personal information to the public, their home address. Um, in this particular case, uh, the employee, to my knowledge, uh, is transgender. Um, both their uh, birth name and the name that they go by were released, which is can be very dangerous. Um, the all sorts of personal information is is out yeah. there now about about these individuals, which sure. I'm, I'm sure you know. I, I understand from uh, the little that I have uh, been able to find, you know, in terms of your. Um, beliefs on these types of things that you certainly don't advocate for violence, and I didn't. No, of course not. That 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, which I, I am very happy to hear that. Yeah. Um, well, I, I don't know that you did mention it, actually, secret. though. I don't know that you did. That's another thing. I don't know that you did mention that, you know, you talk about me being 6'2 and the person being smaller. I, I find it odd that you went out of your way to, to mention that information, but not that I repeatedly said, I am not calling any actions to violence. I would never want violence against, uh, against you. I, I didn't see that in there. And yeah. that was on the, in the video. Sure. Sure, I understand that. I also, that is, I mean, you are 6'2". Is that inaccurate? Well, why, why would you list my, my tale of the tape and not my actions, where I clearly stated, listen, no violence. Why doesn't that make the peace, but my size does? <clears throat> well, because it's an act of aggression to go behind the counter. Okay, so you, don't, so you think that act is more significant than me saying I am not advocating violence at all? Please just take the post no, down I, and this will be the end of it? You think me being 6'2 and larger is more important than my active calls to action, which are nonviolence? I certainly am not qualifying that or ranking them okay. at all. Um, but, you didn't, you but didn't I, mention I, one at all. At all. I'm sorry? You didn't mention one at all. Okay. Well, the, the thing is here is I'm, I'm not calling you to be interrogated. I'm asking you to, I'm giving you an opportunity to sure. right wrongs that you find. I'm so trying to. I'm trying to. No one reached out to us for comment. <laughs> you mentioned my size. You don't mention that I clearly and explicitly and repeatedly state calls to nonviolence. You imply that we dox them or, or that our fans did. Do you know who released the information of, of where the juice land was and the personal information? You, you know who did that, right? Why don't you tell me? You. Okay. In the very first paragraph of your I, article, I, you're the one who states the MLK juice land and releases this information. Not us. We blurred the name. We never mentioned the location. You did it. I also did not release that person's name. Okay. So if you, re not, neither did we, but you're the one who released the location I, and the information. You understand to, to imply that's something to our already. fans that you did it. Okay, I appreciate you saying that. Um, I find that to be inaccurate, but can we please move on to the other things that you I'm very curious about the other inaccuracies that you said. I, your your voicemail to me, quote, said it was riddled. Yes, well, there's three. There's three. And right now you just said, here's the thing. If I say it's in your article, you can bring it up right now. You mentioned where the juice land is. That's you. And you say, I don't believe that's accurate. This can't be a fruitful discussion. Uh, okay, another but, thing. You mentioned alt-right comedian. A quick rudimentary Google search would show you that I'm not alt-right. I've very fervently okay. disavowed the alt-right. And as a matter of fact, they've attacked me. So can we agree that that's another, at least one inaccuracy? Where's the due diligence there? I, I don't find that to be an inaccuracy, but I... Why not? Why not? That the, the, well, for various reasons, but it seems like we're arguing semantics Name here. one. And Name one. No the, semantics. Name one. I say I'm not alt-right. I've disavowed them. You raising your voice at me? I am not raising my voice. Okay, and I'm that's fair. Responding to you, and okay, that's, I'm, that's I'm fair. not raising my voice. Thank you. Um, I'd appreciate it if we could just keep this very civil. I have absolutely. No Why am I alt right? Other than, excuse me, can can I please finish my statement? You've interrupted everything that I have to say. I would appreciate keeping this civil. Okay, please do not raise your voice at me. Moving on. Why the am I alt right? I. Have Okay, I'm trying to tell you. Okay, go ahead. Um, the, I, would you like to go on or should I? Please. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that you do not like that term. That is an umbrella term, and I am not the only person who uses it. I understand that you do not identify as that, and so I'm happy to update the story with the proper nomenclature that you would like me to use. What is that? Sure. I'm just a conservative. But it's, it's not about me. It's not about me. I mean, I know you, you choose to use the pronouns. It's not about you? No, no, it's not about how I identify. I am not alt-right. That's not a matter of editorialization. It's just wrong. In your opinion? No. Are we talking about reporting here, accurate reporting? Why would you, if, if, for example, if someone else were to say, I am not a Democrat, nor have I ever been a Democrat, I cannot stand Democrats, and they were attacked by Democrats on the record, and then you wrote about them as a Democrat, and they said, hey, you need to correct this. I'm not a Democrat. And you said, in your opinion, do, can we agree that's, that's, that's not correct? That's, that's borderline journalistic malpractice if you're going to say that that's not editorialization. If you want to say this as an opinion piece, fine, but it's not factual. Well, Democrat and Republican are recognized in a legal sense. Alt-right is not. 
That, okay. is a, that is a descriptor. Okay, so that's how we get around it. But would you say it's at least, at the very least, a rudimentary Google search would, would help, considering I've been one of the most active people at the forefront of not involving myself with the alt-right? Well, I guess perhaps maybe we could just discuss what your, what your issues with the alt-right are that make you want to be so far away from them that you're willing to have. Sure, yeah, well, I'm just not, well, because I know it's a, focus on that. sure, well, I know you mentioned it as a catch-all term, and I know that people at your paper have used it to uh, refer to people under a catch-all umbrella, uh, including national socialists, which I'm not. I'm not a nationalist. Uh, I am not under the implica I know the implications that I'm a racist. I'm not that. I just haven't really identified as alt-right Ever. I've clearly, explicitly listed my values. I'm a traditionalist, constitutionalist, conservative. You can call me a federalist. But again, I think you know why you use the term alt-right. You mentioned you didn't find the original post. I found that curious. The you mean the original Facebook posts that we, we included in our video? Is, you weren't able to find those? I, I absolutely found yours, but I could not find the other ones because that person has deleted all of their social media accounts. Okay. So, you know... You, but you can find those. I know you, you did also, again, in the video, this is why showing the video when an article, the play-by-play -play of a video is so important, this person admitted on camera to posting those in the video. That's not mentioned either. I watched the video. Okay. Would you, would you be willing to send me uh, the information that you have, the comments, the screenshots, those things, to my email address? I would love to see the, the originals that you posted in the video. Sure, absolutely. I, I just... The person in the video in question, Cameron, says that, that they are his, her posts. Okay. Should that be included? It, it's up to you. Would you like me to include that? But what's the implication if you say I wasn't able to find the original posts and never mention and never show the video, never mention that in the video this person in question says, yeah, yeah, of course those are my posts. Is that not relevant? Okay. I suppose that it is. I'm happy to quote you as saying that you believe that it's relevant. Would you like me to do so? I, absolutely. M more than happy to have you quote me on that. But I would prefer it if you quote this person in the video saying those are absolutely my posts. Do you, shall I send a time okay. code? Would, should you send a what? I'm sorry, the phone cut out. Shall I send a, a time code, a time stamp to the video where this statement is made? I, I watched the video. I'm aware. Okay. So why didn't you include it? I did not include the video. I've already... No, why did you not, not include not this not. person saying that these are my posts? Your article you leaves it to imagination as though we made up posts, as though you couldn't find them, as though there's no evidence. The evidence is in admission and screenshot. The person admits in the video. That is relevant information if we're going to be practicing I, I journalism, did. is it not? Sure. I, I, again, I did include the quotes. Did I not? The quotes I'm of this at the article right now. The person saying, "Those are my posts." Uh, it says, "According to screenshots posted by the Crowder camp in a YouTube video," and it goes on, which I specifically mentioned there that I've redacted that name. So no, back to your uh, earlier statement that I released that information. I have redacted that person's name. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just to, it, just to be clear, what does redacted mean? removed the name for safety purposes is which i right so it's clearly been removed. stated in the article now. yeah it's been removed now yeah. yeah which i appreciate i actually do that you blurred out the name just on your video sure but again all of that i i realize you cannot you know control what your uh commenters do i understand that completely neither can i sure you'll notice on our on our article i mean clearly there's nothing you can do about commenters. I understand that. Right. But uh, going no, on. No, and I, I appreciate I, that. I Listen, quote, I know you would not advocate violence, nor would you um, would you uh, tacitly approve of someone, you know, po actively posting uh, a plot to slash tires or with someone else, you know, just firebombing the van. These these go on for a long time. But it, it does embolden these people. Again, it goes back to you did not include the quote where this person said that they were this person's post on Facebook. So no, that is not included in there. Uh, and when you say I couldn't find the original posts, talk about how I'm 6'2 and not my active call to nonviolence. This is an inaccurate piece. It's riddled with inaccuracies. Okay. Like we said, we've been through four I, or five now. And uh, I'm not in control of my fans, but I am not judging you for anything your fans have said. I am calling I to your attention that. the things you've said. 
I understand. And my actual statement is we have yet to obtain the original post and the employee's social media accounts appear to be deleted. From what we can gather online, the following is the basic rundown. Yes. So would you not that's, deem it relevant that the person gathering online is in the video, the person in question said, these are my posts. Of course, these are my posts. Is that not relevant? I suppose in this, I suppose that it is, and I'm happy to quote you on that. Um, is that, yes. No, quote uh, no, don't quote me. Quote them on it. You said you've seen the video. Quote them on it. Them saying, of course, those are my posts. I don't need you to quote me. This person said it. It's on camera. Is that in question? Are, are, are you disagreeing with me on that? I, I'm confused here. I clear, I never said that I disagreed with you. So then why Please is do it not in put there? words in my mouth. So then what is, the, what is the issue here? Don't quote me. Quote the person in question who said, of course, this is my post. Otherwise, it's activism, update. not journalism. Excuse me? Otherwise, it is activism, not journalism. Okay. Do you consider yourself a journalist? No. Okay. Um, what? Do you? Under the... Sir, I do not appreciate the sarcasm. No, do you? Uh, of course I am. Okay. Well, I, 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 it was not sarcastic at all. I wasn't quite sure from this conversation. I thought maybe you were an op-eds person, which is totally fine. I have no problem with someone who is an op-ed writer, who is an opinion writer. I have no, no problem with that if it's clearly, explicitly stated in the piece. Okay. I understand that, going back to it, you are upset that I uh, mentioned your height. <laughs> but no. the, the entire... Excuse me? No. Okay. Well, could I finish, please? I understand that you have mentioned that I mentioned your height multiple times. So the reason that I did that, which I, I'm pretty sure reads very clearly, uh, that the reason that that is relevant is because you did walk behind the counter of a business. Yes. Is that is that a typical behavior of, of you? I mean, is that is that how you choose to confront people? I know that the confronting people is kind of your kind of your thing. No, it's not. Um, no, it's not. Actually, it's, it's not. As a matter of fact, there are, there are over 30 million plays on Change My Mind segments. The reason this segment has started, by the way, we were there in Austin. We spoke with, uh, I can't remember her name, Danielle. Uh, she's a transgender woman running for city council, male to female transgender. This went on while there were calls to firebomb our van. This occurred uh, while this person was advocating and plotting to slash our tires while we were actually sitting down doing a Change My Mind segment, which is a completely unedited interview where we sit on the street and allow anyone to have a conversation. So it's not kind of my thing. Yes. There are two of these. I think there are 10 plus of those. And this is just mm -hmm. when people advocate violence. No, it's not my thing. This person's thing is advocating violence. My issue here is not that you list my height. The issue here is that you write an article where you say you couldn't find the original post. You never quote the person in question who openly says, of course, those are my posts. You do not show the I video. You refer to me as alt. You refer, look, I'm just going to finish here. You refer to me as alt-right. You mention my height and not my active call to nonviolence. Again, I state this is a piece very selectively choosing facts, if we want to call it those, and it's activism, not journalism. And I would just appreciate if it's labeled such. I don't care if you list my height. If you say six foot two, Steven Crowder, glistening in the sun, walked behind the kitchen and said, hey, hey, just to be clear, I would never advocate violence against you. I wouldn't have a problem with it. If you were to say, though, we couldn't find the post because they were deleted, but in the video openly says, of course, those are my posts, that changes context. Because if people understand that this, of course, was the person in question plotting to slash tires, talking about making sure that I don't uh, expose myself or am ever vulnerable again, and they understand that I'm simply asking this person in the video to remove it, and that would be the end, I think that changes the context of the piece. Would you not agree? I understand where you're coming from, but okay. to clear up the inner inaccuracies that you just mentioned, I did quote that person three times. Three times saying, of course, that is my post. The fact that I did not include that one statement does not It verifies the, the accuracy of the statement. It is pivotal. Of course, it, listen, you can, quote them talk, you can quote them saying Stephen Crowder's mean all you want. That's complete. It could not be less relevant. I, that's not, that is not. Did you read the thing? I have did it right in front of me. I'm, Nowhere is it I included. Too, and Zero places. That, 
That statement is not. But three statements in a row are, including the one in which he, this person said that he, uh, where is it? Um, I am dead I would inside. Just remove the signs and slash his tires. That's the part you had an issue with. There was also a part that I included um, in which that person says, I worked with some on the Robert E. Lee statue. I included that as well. So the idea that I was just falsely portraying this person as being completely innocent is completely off base. You falsely it's portrayed the, the accuracy of what we had posted, saying you could not find it and you did not include the video, nor the quote from the video where this person confirms that it was indeed them. I think that's pretty important. It doesn't matter if you say, Steven Crowder said this happened, but I wasn't able to confirm any of it. When you don't post the video and you don't post the quote from said video of the person saying, of course, that's me. So now you see why the video is kind of, kind of key here. And it's, it's curious that you didn't include it because at least people could watch it for themselves and go, oh, of course, this transgender person at Juiceland said, that's me. Those are my posts. Well, that, that, that puts it to bed. Sir, mm -hmm. I've gone over this multiple times. What I would also like you to do is answer my question about whether or not you feel that it was an act of aggression to go behind the counter and hover over that person within one foot of his, his face. Is that an act of aggression? No. You don't believe that it is? I do not believe that it is when I walk back and say, just to be clear, I am not advocating violence. I would like you to remove right, this active call to violence against me, and that'll be the end of it. And the person says, no, I'm not going to remove my post. I don't believe so. I don't. But I, but I, but I am, I am totally, f I am totally fine with showing all of the video, all of the, co gather whatever you can. I think this person might have some more footage for you. We said, we've said anyone who has any footage from it, please send it in. I am very comfortable with allowing people to see all of it, as much context as possible, and making their own decisions. I, I understand that. Why do you not feel that that is an act of aggression to go behind the counter of someone's workplace and stand within one foot of their face? I just answered. Why do you not think it to be journalistic malpractice when you do not quote someone admitting to a crime? On camera. Sir, you have yet to answer my question. I just did. You want me to answer it again? No, I do not. I, I do. Now let me explain I it why again. Why do you not? I said I do not, and why the reason not? why is when I walk back there and say openly, explicitly not calling any actions to violence i don't want any violence to come to you please take this down no but i'm okay with if, if someone wants to interpret it that way because they've watched the video and they've seen the person admit to the crime i'm fine with someone having that opinion what i'm not okay with is a journalist going out there selectively writing an article omitting facts omitting key details as to confirmation of the authenticity of these acts and allowing, uh, allowing this to pass as journalism. That's what I have a problem with. I'm fine with anyone having any opinion of me that they want, so long as it's based on accuracy. Your piece isn't. In your opinion. I also have no, one question. No, not in my opinion, uh, not in my opinion. I have one question about uh, the update that I posted at the end of the article from APD, Austin Police Department, um, that there's two case numbers associated. Yep. One is criminal mischief mm -hmm. and the other is criminal trespass. Uh, to my knowledge, the criminal trespass is uh, the, based on the report that Juice Land employees filed against you and your team. Has there been any update on that? And do you consider yes. that to be trespassing? Well, Were there, you trespassing? There, well, there, there, is, there is no update on it. The police said, as long as I don't go back any year, it's fine. It's a, it was a notice. Sure. The other one is ongoing, and it's been passed on to a detective because there's uh, much more serious criminal activity. I'd be happy to send you the Austin PD if you'd like. The report? Yes, I'd be happy to direct you to them. They, they were pretty clear that one's a notice. Don't, just don't I, come back. I, that's not, a, that's not a crime. Don't come back within a year. Then it would be trespassing. One is an ongoing investigation. Because of some information, which okay. we, we, we actually uh, omitted for safety purposes, there's, there's more evidence that we didn't include. But again, you can bet that the detectives and the police will be doing their due diligence to, to look into the quotes and posts and ensuring the accuracy when they are currently doing so. Yes, I posted that myself, so I, do, I am aware of that. Yeah. I was just giving you an opportunity to add anything else regarding that specific part of the story we, and well, update if you would like. No, we'll find our juice elsewhere for the next year. So we were happy to just get a warning. Okay, and um, is there anything else that you find to be inaccurate in the story? That I find to be inaccurate? 
the whole story, yeah, the, basically the, the, the whole theme of the story, the whole spirit of the activism of the story disguised as journalism. That's what you have a problem with, is the theme? I have, I have a problem well, in this area of, uh, here's what I have a problem with. Do you, do you, do you really want me to answer your, your question? Well, I wouldn't have asked you okay. if I didn't want an answer. Well, I just say it because I, I think you might not like the answer. I'm going to try and be as, as calm and civil as possible, but also as, as honest as possible. In the era of people freaking out about fake news, when people omit videos while writing an article exclusively about a video, omit facts that would be key details, by the way, key witnesses in a court case, uh, uh, omit information and also mislead the audience with information that's selectively edited. For example, reaching out to some generic line on CRTV, acting as though you'd reached out to me directly. I, I have a problem with this passing as news, because it's not. This is not news, it's activism. And I know that you get very offended when I say, I think you're an activist, not a journalist. But when I say, hey, listen, there's a quote I'm right in this offended. video, and you say, well, that in your opinion, it's not my opinion. It's like me saying, right now the sky is blue in your opinion. No, it's not. When I say, well, listen, uh, this is a police report, you say, well, in your opinion, it's not my opinion. When I say, you, no one reached out to us directly, and you say, in your opinion, it's not my opinion. When I say, I'm not alt-right, and I've openly advocated against the alt-right, and you say, in your opinion, it's not my opinion. But all of the things I've mentioned are your opinion. And for some reason, you're OK passing this off as journalism. And I think that's a disservice to your readers. That's what I have a problem with. And I, like I said, I, I appreciate you taking the time, but I, I would hope that both of us have some, some things to think about after this conversation. You, you agree that you do have things to think about after this conversation? Absolutely. Could you tell me what some of those are? No, those are my private thoughts. But I just, I just, gave, you, I just gave you quite a bit. If you'd like to talk a, another time, or even listen, have, have you on the show to discuss it, we'd be more than happy to. Um, we do that all the time with people who d disagree with us. Again, it's not about confronting. It's very rare when there are calls to violence. That's when we confront. But we have people all, all the time on the show with differing opinions. We're willing to hear anyone and everyone. And I think it's actually probably the one and only example online where we do that consistently and uh, respectfully. So we'd welcome I'm you sorry, to the, the show. I'm sorry, the one and only example online being yes. you and your team are the only example online of people doing that? Yes, of people hosting differing opinions, completely unedited, uh, in long form interviews consistently and respectfully. Yeah, I would say so. I would say there are very few, maybe a couple other on the right wing, but uh, certainly not on the left. Yeah. And, and not, not alt right, to be con not to be confused with the right wing, not the alt right. That's what you're saying. Did you hear me say alt right? I, I'm just double checking since apparently that term is a point of contention for you. Um, is there listen, it's not the I term that's a point of contention. It's how lazy you are as a journalist that you didn't do a rudimentary search. You could type in alt-right Steven Crowder and find very, very quickly my, my stance. It's not, it's, not, it's not about the term. It's about the journalistic laziness. Okay. Is there anything else? No, I think that's good. I, I, I appreciate I would welcome you on the show. Um, we have to go tape one here right now, but I, I appreciate you taking the time. And do you have anything, any other questions for me? I don't. And if I do, um, I, can I reach you through this number? Uh, best bet is probably an email, actually. This number isn't, uh, isn't uh, always readily available, and someone isn't necessarily gotcha. by the landline. So, yeah, no, an email would be great. Appreciate it. And uh, you're, I, I just, one last thing. I, you're aware that uh, Texas is a single-party consent state, correct? What, what are you asking me? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And there you have it. Journalism Today in 2018. Your thoughts? I'm curious. If you like the video, subscribe. Watch one of these other videos or hit the notification bell. Well, you should hit that if you subscribe anyways because subscriptions don't mean anything on YouTube anymore. Now you have to hit notifications so that it shows up in your inbox. So I don't know why you subscribe in the first place, but that's what you have to do. Also, we're not making money off these videos anymore because YouTube decided why. They, they just said we're not going to. And when we said why, they didn't tell us why exactly. Imagine if you showed up to your job, you did all your work, and then they said, hey, by the way, we're not going to pay you. You said why? They said, piss off!